ਜਸ ਗਲਬਾਤ ਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਅਰਵਿੰਦ ਕੌਰ ਦੀ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਵੂਮੈਨਸ ਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਿਲੇ ਆ ਕੱਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਨਾਉਂਸ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਐਸੇ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਐਸੇ ਥੈਰੇਪਿਸਟ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਾਏਗਾ ਕਿ ਵੂਮੈਨ ਪਾਵਰ ਇਜ਼ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਕਨੈਕਟਡ ਟੂ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਯੋਰ ਗਟ ਥੋੜੀ ਇੰਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਰੱਬੋ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ so please mere naal uh, you know please welcome sapna sabarwal she is right here with us and she is joining us from karabi bangkok so um, sapna thank you so much for being here menu please uh, sapna naal milao sapna thank you so much for being here thank you such a pleasure being out here ਐਂਡ ਗਲਬਾਤ ਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਵਿਊਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਦਾ ਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਨੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਬਣ ਰੱਬ ਬਣਾਉਂਦਾ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਚੂਜ਼ ਟੂ ਸਟੇ ਕਨੈਕਟਿਡ ਸੋ ਸਪਨਾ ਇਜ਼ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਚੂਜ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਸਟੇ ਕਨੈਕਟਿਡ ਸੋ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਡੂਡਲਿੰਗ ਟੀਚਰ ਟੂ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਐਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਸਪਨਾ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਹੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਮੈਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਸਿੱਧਾ ਹੀ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਦੱਸ ਕੇ ਡੂਡਲਿੰਗ ਹਾਊ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਏ ਆਈ ਹ ਆਈ ਰਿਅਲਾਈਜ਼ ਕਿ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਦੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਡੂਡਲਿੰਗ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਐਂਡ ਟੈਲ ਮੀ ਹਾਊ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਫੋਰ ਮੀ ਆਈ ਬਿਲੀਵਡ ਫੋਰ 50 ਇਅਰਸ ਆਈ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਡਰਾ ਬਟ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਬਿਲੀਵਡ ਇਨ ਮਾਇਸੈਲਫ ਵਾਸ ਮਾਈ ਇੰਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਮਾਈ ਗਟ because that's the only thing that has taken me through my life always helping me out every time i came to a crossroad i didn't know where to look instead of looking out i went within so the more you go within you follow your gut in the same way i started drawing and to divert my mind to divert myself i found ways and means how to handle my emotions how to understand my emotions hmm. so in the process when my intuition turned to me oh there are people who are looking for this i didn't question it i don't question my intuition anymore okay i'm not denying i used to question my intuition because you always doubt yourself you always want confirmation from the outside Right. from within yourself right so for in the process when when i decided and it was a, during the covid time i've never worked all my life but during covid time i have been the busiest person i can ever imagine really i am doodling i'm teaching them and i yeah. teach you with simple fun ways how we can do things tell me sapna like doodling um, uh, you know our <clears throat> staff can show how she's been doodling also but how is it so connected to intuition because i remember as a child i used to doodle a lot on my books and dant with this ode karke dant with this bhi gan paya hua hai because gol 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 karke you know you making some flowers are there then there was a used to uh, draw a building a lot <clears throat> so we were right. told not to do that but i realized now not anymore so how are they connected the intuition and doodling today thanks to social media thanks to we human beings communicating with each other more explaining words explaining our emotions hmm. so what happens is even with doodling the lines you may be drawing a straight line but if my mind is disturbed my line is going to probably go up and down or wavy or sharp hmm. so for me it's like i I'm, i'm not interested as to oh how beautiful is your drawing no how am i bringing out my emotions how am i learning about my emotions hmm. so with every line or a circle or even a dot there were times when i would start drawing circles so initially my circles would be nice and big and then when i was disturbed or i'm at a crossroad i would notice my circles becoming so small and tiny 
So, and that, that became my journal as to what I, I was, was going through wow. internally, not externally, because I can't see myself. Hmm. So doodling helps you to understand yourself. Today, I did a straight one line. Oh, yesterday, I couldn't draw one straight line. Hmm. So everything just depends on what is internal. But so, we always think the answers come from outside. So the day we say, you know what, I trust myself, I trust him, I believe in him. He always guides us on the right path, on the right so direction. So Sapna, you didn't learn from anywhere doodling on your own? No. On my own, I started doodling only three years ago hmm. because I actually believed, I made myself believe, I can't draw, I don't know how to draw, oh, they are artists, I am no one. You know the self-doubt that we always do when we start something new? So it's always a self-doubt. So it's this self-doubt that stops us from taking that step forward. Thank you. So the thank day you. I tell myself, and doubt is something natural. So let's not, don't be hard on ourselves. My biggest issue with myself, so I'm not even gonna talk about the next person. <clears throat> my issue is I am very hard on myself. I have expectations. Oh, it wasn't so good. Oh, that one's is better. I need to stop that. I needed to stop that and say, I am good mm. at what I am doing now. This is my best. So the only thing is the art of doing. It's not about art. You can be cooking, gardening, sewing. You can do anything, writing poetry or writing, mm -hmm. or even scribbling. As far as you are mindful, you're present, and you're enjoying it. So that's all there is to life. So you think... I don't need to... Sapna, so, you think like when you're drawing, like, look at that. That's such a beautiful piece. Right. I mean, how did you uh, start from a paper and then went on these, you know, wooden uh, pieces? Yeah, that's, that's the interesting, like I said earlier. If you follow your intuition, your gut, which is right here, think about it. Every time we, there's a situation or a, where does your hand first go? It's here. Oh my God, my stomach, my gut. So it's the same gut. We know everything stems from the gut. Mm -hmm. So when initially, when I, I used to draw abstract painting because that was easier. I would just splash colors. But mm -hmm. because of my disabilities, body disabilities, I had to go from big canvases, I had to downsize it, so I had to come down to paper. Mm. And for me, it was like, I don't know how to draw on paper. So the first two years was just doing what I felt like, when I felt like, how I felt like. Get you know, inspiration. the way you teach, teach uh, I mean, for me, when COVID started and we were all home and I realized that you were taking classes, I said, I want to join this. And it was True. so therapeutic. You know, you just, you feel when you're going on and on in that right. motion, uh, something about it is very calming. So True. I'm going to take a break, but let's see a small video, which I find very interesting. I think it's one from your class. Right, okay. Let's see that.
beautiful. Like to make this one. Yeah, make your triangles at the edges then. You know We'll go for a small break and come back. Welcome back and welcome Sapna and thank you again for being here. Sari meri galba de parivar nu main dasda ke Sapna Karabi to Bangkok to sade naal judi hui hai aur sanu ek experience because mainu you know thonu pata hai ki jadon main kisi nu milan aur mainu acha lagda hai te main sara nu milana chahndi ha. So this is how we reached doing a you know show together par oh hune tak sanu jo ne dassya hai ke intuitive powers uh, you know, doodling or intuitiveness the key relationship hai, oh, thodi si ye to puch rahe And uh, kis ne doodling? She says ki main artist shuru to nahi si. But a covid the time te, one e jari cheez karni shuru ki ti, odhe naal bhoat hi onu sakoon mil hai. So, uh, Sapna, uh, how do you think to si keh rahe ho ki intuition or doodling is, you know, there's a connection. But as a child, did you know yourself ke a ability hai to adich? The thing is, intuition, sorry, that's my little saying hello to intuition to all of you. Good morning from It doesn't then. matter. Yeah. The thing with intuition, Tom and Leela, good morning. Okay. The thing with intuition, we are all have it. It's in us. But the thing is, it's like, to study anything, to find out anything, to know more about yourself, you've got to focus. Hmm. When you focus on something, and I have my intent on my focus, I will get what I want. So intuition, in the same matter, you take a child, a newborn child, the child intuitively knows, when I'm hungry, I need to cry. It starts from the day you are born. Hmm. But, again, I need to still myself. I need to be in silence to find myself. With noise, you don't find yourself. Hmm. It's then you're taking in other people's emotions into yourself. You are handling their fears. We hold on to other people's fears more than we even know what fear is. Hmm. So with intuition, you have it, I have it, even a child has it. Let's give time to ourselves. But I think, Sapna, as a child, you may say, but intuition is more than But Sanu, over the time, when we grow up, we feel right. we, we stop, stop trusting it. Correct. That's the thing, because we value other people's opinions more than I value my own opinion about myself. Do I know me? How do I know me? Only when a situation happens will I know. Can I do this? Or can I make it? Can I break it? How do I go about? Mm. But because I do not want to take responsibility of my action, I look outside, I ask outside. So I have someone to blame tomorrow. So when did, did you start, when did you start using your intuitive power, which you say everybody has? Okay. I mean, My tell me your own experience. experience. Was, correct. This started for me when I was 14 years old. Hmm. It was a very interesting thing. You know, again, we don't, people, we don't talk about our intuition. We don't talk about our yeah. gut feeling. We find it woo-woo woo stuff, you know. We are right. told like that. It's a taboo. It's, it's crazy that something can happen. And... So the first experience I had was when I was 14 and my best friend who was my neighbor had gone off to for the weekend to her grandparents home. And she asked me, she said, oh, are you doing anything this weekend? I'm like, no, 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 I'm going out to have a family dinner. But unfortunately, I wasn't well and I had to stay home. 
So I sat there and I'm saying, oh my God, I saw her pack a bag and she's left. So I sat there and I just kept concentrating on her and saying, can you please come back? Can you please come back? And I went on for like about half an hour, just oh. sending her out these thoughts of, can you come back home for the weekend? Hmm. Shortly after that, I see her and her dad come back and I'm totally, I'm, I'm fearful now because did I do something? Did, did I create it? Is it good? Is it bad? All the fears come back into you. So, Sapna, how is it different that these days when we say, oh, we want something with that intensity and we get it. So, how is it different? Correct. It's the same thing. It's, it's the same how thing. Much, what is my intention? How much am I willing to in, invest in myself? Hmm. But you know, it's me. a simple thing. It's so easy for me to say, I love you hmm. to, to outside, to other people. But to say, I love you, look at yourself in the mirror, look at your eyes and say, I love you. It scares you. <laughs> we just talked about it. Yeah, you're right. So we kind of promised each other that we are going to say we love ourselves and all that. Uh -huh. But tell me, tell me, um, okay, you were 14. This happened, now you realize that you have that, you know. Right. But then so, did you make use of this so often or, you know, you just realized as you grew up? Like in between, no. period, tell me how much you could make use of it. Okay, that's a very, very interesting question because that's where, that's the stumbling point for us. When you, when you become aware of it, hmm. when you're a child especially, so you go up to the elder and say, hey, you know, I experienced this. But then you realize we don't talk about these incidences. It's a taboo. It's like, oh, it's something bad. It, it can be anything because our influence in India. I studied in India, studied in a Catholic school, born in a Gursik family. So for me, it was like, oh, mom, this is what's happening. She's like, oh, don't go down that road. So I said, let me ask my teachers. So when I asked my teachers and they said the same thing and I was like, is this a good thing or not a good thing? Mm -hmm. So what I did, I started, I had a best friend, another a friend, and he had read a lot of these books and he had so much knowledge. So he started telling me about these books and says, read about it. There's nothing wrong about it. So mm -hmm. I became an avid reader because that was my interest. But that was your secret. Me. You didn't reveal that to was, No, because if you, I did it, I would be stopped. stopped. Hmm. So it was like buying books, like collecting money, saving your money, buying books. I had like over a thousand books because I wanted to know, I wanted to understand me. Hmm. What are these experiences that people are talking? So the more I started delving into myself, it was like you've opened a box of Pandora, the Pandora box. <laughs> All the diamonds and pearls are in that box. That's here. Hmm. But tell so me, you're right. More... Society suppresses this. We all have it. We get you. Yes. But right. ki hoya? Like, you know, you go on with your life because society expects you to be married, to have education, to go sure. have kids. Whatever. You know, society, your family, your you yourself also, because this is the norm. True. So how True. was that going on and it, knowing that you have this ability, how was that going on? It is a struggle in one because for us, when we get married, in Indians, when we get married, at least in our times, today the world has changed, but when we get married, we don't get married to just the man that we're getting married to. We get married to the family, family. and then we have our duties, we have our roles. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, you are always trying to juggle yourself. So what I used to do for myself, it was like, okay, this is my gut feeling. This is my intuition. I trust it. Hmm. So let me follow. So every time I went through an imbalance of my emotions, Jeez. I stopped. So what I did, this was a really interesting. So we all have Babaji Ka Kamra, but that becomes, in, for me, the Babaji Ka Kamra was, everyone's a families. So what I did was I would go and sit out in one corner of the Babaji Kakamra say, this is my special space. place. Hmm. 
So when I would go there, so I would just sit out there and I say, guide me to the direction that serves my benefit and the benefit of the others. Hmm. So in the process with family life, I realized it was more important for me to listen rather than go with my emotions and create the stories in my mind. Follow my gut because it simplifies your life. Yeah. It makes life so easy because it's the benefit of all, not you, not me. So let me, let me understand this, brother. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are you saying that you went on with what was going on so, so that there's no clash? Correct. It's so you went on with the flow, me. with where life took you, knowing that there's something else for you. Always. And I, get, I wake up with an excitement every morning. What the excitement is, I have no idea. I don't question what the excitement is. But that's now. Is. That's now. Was it like this? Is it all no. this life? No. Very yeah. good point. Hold on to your thought. Evening. Hold on to your thought. I'm really keen to know this. Let me take a short break and come back. Welcome back, back everyone and Sapna too. Sapna, uh, you were telling us that when you are so excited, you are full of life, you are looking forward to the day. My question is, was it always like this? Was it like this when you were, uh, you know, following the whatever the society is expecting you to do? Not at all, not at all. So what was going Before, on? Intuition has no logic, right? Because mm. it's a gut feeling. Mm. So how do you go about if I come up and I say, oh, Arvind, and I say something to you, which makes no logical sense. Mm. What is the reaction I'm going to get from people? Oh my God, you're hocus pocus, you're this, you're that. And again, it's me shaking on my path again. So initially... When I discovered that I was getting, my intuition was getting strong and I was really excited. So when you get excited, what do you do? You want to share it with others. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you share it with others, you scare the next person. Because you scare yourself because I don't understand this. It makes no sense. So I struggled with it because every time the intuition came and what I, what I felt or what I... It, it cushioned my life for me. So instead of for me, every time the fear would come about, I told myself, I need to find how does it benefit me? So I said, this cushions me. It helps me to move forward. It helps me to understand myself. So the more I did that for myself, the more I understood. I didn't need outside approval. I stopped searching. But no, Sapna, my question is, <clears throat> balance nahi samaj aya si. what was going on? Is it suffering? Oh, you, keep you have to keep focusing. You, the more you are thrown off, the more you say, I focus. You meditate. You pray. You become mindful. The most important thing is mindful. How do I? But, I would just sit and do Simran. I wouldn't know what else to do, but just do Simran. But tell me from your life that the period when the clash was there and you could right. not follow your intuition, what was going on with the body and mind? Oh, my body went into suppression because when I suppress, what happens? My body reacts. So in the process, my body started crying out and saying, help me. But I wasn't listening to me because I was in that whole, how do I balance my life? So you had so the, the period when the health figured gay, like, you know, you go Totally. To... Hmm. It's so simple because when, take a simple thing, you have a headache. What do we do? We take a tablet, it goes in. Instead of doing that, let's ask ourselves, why do I have the headache? What is the cause of my headache? What is troubling me? How can I help myself? Hmm. But we don't do that because I do not want to deal with my emotions. 
and I was a master of it because the simplest thing is I have this I've got to live it so suppress don't talk about it because the more you talk about it the worse you feel but what happens the body flares up so about 22 years ago thanks to all the suppressing that I did to myself I developed an autoimmune disease called fibromyalgia which is widespread pain yeah now this pain again like I said pain is pain is the body crying out and saying help me listen to but me, help yeah. me how not going to the doctors yes go to the doctors when you have a medical thing today fibromyalgia when you go to the doctors they say there is no cure mm -hmm. it's been two years I am pain free because I have learned to balance my energies with Simran you do part you meditate you can whatever you want to cook you want to dance you want to share yourself and I would love to share this that in your class because I'm in that group there's so many more people who had fibromyalgia or other immune diseases who are getting much better now yes we in fact we have this one kid who has lupus and lupus is worse and this is what doctors do to us they make us believe that there is no cure you can't do anything you have to be dependent on us for the rest of your life she's been working with me she started doodling one exactly one year ago when i started the during the COVID period she was on high steroids on 60 milligrams of steroids a day she was crying to the doctors to say, I do not want this. I can't deal with it. Mm. About three months ago, because she started working with me, we became partners because I wanted to help. I want to help people to help themselves. Not you be dependent on me. Because today I'm here, tomorrow I'm not. But you are going to be there for yourself. Find your tools. Find so how's your she doing ways. now? How's she doing now? Her steroid from 60 milligrams has come down to 15. Her doctor asked her, what are you doing? And she said, I've been doodling. Do you know scientifically it has been proven that when we sleep, our brain wave goes down. We have different brain waves. So it goes down to the theta brain wave. When theta brain wave is when your body and mind is totally relaxed. Yeah. When you do anything mindful, with full focus, your body goes down to that state. Okay. So anything you do mindfully, with your intention. So that's how it heals. Because right. Heals. Ah. That's how you balance yourself. Okay, okay. Because you, you like what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And it can be anything. It's not you have to doodle. No. Do anything that you love. It's you. Bring it out. So, so today, do, doodling when you do, it's healing you. Doodling or, right? as you said, anything which you focus on. So, do you think like, uh, what is going on in our body when we say that, uh, you know, sh should we just understand what physical factors Ooh. are going on and then sit down and analyze or I don't know what I'm I mean it's it's That's amazing a very, that, I love that question the key word that you use what happens what stops us we analyze we analyze and waste you know what we call wasted energy Achha. How much wasted energy it's, we go we are about? We are more from right. working from our mind. And this is an illusion. Mm -hmm. There is no reality in it because I'm either living in the past or I'm living in the future. Mm -hmm. There is no present for me. So this brings so you to I, the moment. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. take, you're a good cook. You love cooking. You enjoy cooking. Mm -hmm. Have your intention. Now, when you're cooking, but when the dish is finished, when you taste it, and, and it's tasty, and it was, wow, how does it make you feel? I feel so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, our brain and our body go hand in hand. I may say, oh, I'm so positive. 
but in my head i'm saying oh my god i'm so miserable my cells hear my thoughts not right. what i'm talking to you but what i'm talking to myself so subconscious what we are talking about these days is really right. powerful and listens to our inner dialogue always so what i believe in is like take a simple thing i don't believe in mistakes because i believe a mistake is a creation of something new mm. if the light bulb yes. the apple falling from the tree einstein take all of them it was a mistake and that mistake became a reality a creation so instead of being hard on ourselves and saying oh again i did a mistake then i say oh again i went through an experience start changing keywords for yourself to balance my mind because my mind likes to believe life is miserable it's a struggle oh this is my kismat this is my karma no it's what you want to create for yourself wonderful because if, uh, sorry yeah sorry. we have to take a short break but i really want to know uh, you mentioned you read so many books so your spirituality yes. your understanding of this uh, you know whole self um, right who are the teachers or the books which really impacted you the leaders or in this field let me take a short break and we'll continue welcome back and uh, sapna once again thank you so much for being with us sade is galbat de parivar nu milan da and uh, i am sure thoda to see you know i know uh, we excuse you for speaking a lot of english because hindi punjabi to si bolde ho but use nahi hundi since you are in thailand and you know whatever but uh, um, we had left our conversation with k koi books koi leaders who have really impacted you because you've read so much on these lines and what do you think my first first impression was when my parents taught me the mool mantra mm. and what they told me was if you can live your life on the mool mantra mm. that's all you, you need, need to do wow and to understand the mool mantra it's the simplest how many how many words are there 12 words in the mool mantra 12 words mm. and our whole guru granth sahib is based on that in different forms in poetry right, in right. so that we understand hmm. but what was about the mul mantra which i still ask till today what is the first word it's ik and to understand that ik took me so long because ik to me first became i or it became god or it became it segregated me it made me separate from myself but i needed to understand it was we all and everything is the same is we are one it's one it's one and to just understand and live as one instead of saying this is mine this is ours change words to understand because nothing is ours it's all an illusion so that was my first first so guru nanak dev ji was my hero to say till today because they went against what society was at that time hmm. it wasn't difficult so every time i go through a difficult situation i ask myself is it really difficult or is your mind playing games with you again ha because to be ik is not easy mm-hmm. to understand to embrace to allow each one to grow on their path on their journey is the most important thing hmm i i read the guru i mean i want to do understand the guru granth sahib the gita the bible the quran it all came down to the same thing it was ik to me and when the more i read the more i felt my ego was my biggest problem and ego comes in such subtle ways mhm we separate so, ourselves yeah we separate ourselves so first was guru nanak dev ji 
-hmm. My second book that made such an impact again when I was 15 years old was this Lebanese writer called Khalil Gibran. Mm -hmm. One of his famous books was called His Prophet. Yeah. And it's still, it was published in 1923, and it's mm. still the number one book about it. Mm. Like, I would like to read something very simple from Khalil Gibran. He writes this. He says, joy is greater than sorrow. Some say, nay, sorrow is greater. Mm. But I say unto you, they are inseparable. Together they come. When one sits alone with you at your board, remember the other is asleep upon your bed. Oh, wonderful. So it is, we have. It's inseparable. We have everything in us. Mm -hmm. It's where, what do I want to focus? What do I want to bring out? If the moon is out, the moon also has a darker side. If it's shining, it has a darker side to it. Mm. I need to know my darker side. What am I capable of? What hinders mm. me? Mm. It's a very simple, beautiful book. The mm. other one was Ayn Rand. Very philosophical book, very heavy book. But it bangs you because she, what she ta turns out and says to you is how the mind, what is the role of the mind in man's existence? Mm. What is, is the role of your mind Here. in a man's existence? Hmm. How do you want to use your mind? Do you want to benefit yourself, walk with ease? Do you think life is an adventure? It's beautiful, it's fun. Or do you want to think life is mundane? Same. I do the same thing. Hmm. That's up to you. Okay. How do you want your life to be? Mm -hmm. So, in other words, we reach there that whatever we create from here, we get that kind of life or we are living right. that life. So, it's our own right. creation. Oh my God. Yes. That's, and that's that like, I mean, in uh, many words we hear about this, but this is quite a simplistic, the way you've explained, Sapna. I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, because it's Life kind of an aha simple. moment for me that it's this simple <laughs> to it create is. your own life. But yeah, I'm glad we at least we're talking about it now. We've wasted quite many years, but now at True. least. <laughs> you know, bring it back to the word simple. Hmm. It's like even with doodling. When I, when I teach my, the people who are getting into this, so when they see the design, they say, oh my God, this is so complicated. Ah. And believe me, the complicated designs, they pick it up in one shot. The simplest design of lines, which you already put it up on your video, was the most difficult for people to do. Just doing lines. Right. But so no, you remind me this. of one thing. I mean, it looks complicated, but at one point, you are drawing only one small, this thing. But Correct. when the whole picture comes. Yes. And the, and the amazing thing is you're drawing the same pattern. You are not doing anything else. And what I've understood from the people that who are all indulging themselves in, in doodling right now is the mind can handle complicated things because we are always complicating things for ourselves. Right. We're always true. assuming, we're always, this yeah. can be happening, that may happen. But when you simplify and say, I'm just doing this straight this, line. Yeah. You're so right. Simplifies You're so right. And life is simple. Yeah. It's, it goes with the life, you know. When we see it this much, it is just this much. But when we, want to scare ourselves sure. and be fearful it's like oh my god there's so right. much i'm overwhelmed all right like right. a simple thing you know when people ask like i'm a housewife I, i'm very proud to say i'm a housewife but in today's world when you say oh what do you do i don't work oh, really but the thing <laughs> is i do work i am a housewife i handle every member 
I handle the house. I make it comfortable. It, I enjoy it. So instead of looking at it like, hi, ma, I have to do this. I have to cook. I have to. No, we don't have to do anything. I want to do these things because it gives me pleasure to see other people enjoying it too. Right. So it's up I mean, to we us. can say we are blessed that we are housewives. We uh, are not juggling it with two, three different things. But at least, yeah, yeah that's the attitude we really need to change. So, so there's so we, many. We're always putting ourselves down yeah. before being a housewife. Like, oh wow, great. Oh, you're working bad. Today, when you say, oh, I am a housewife. Oh, today you're bad. Working is good. So you see how we change our mind changes right, emotions right. and situation change so why yeah. are we holding to a thought that doesn't exist anymore mm. no this Move is on. so good sapna but i really want to go back to the even the doodling part which you've made as a tool of right now connecting uh, right. and reviving your intuition and you're doing great job you know teaching this so many in your group, uh, you've done exhibitions exactly. and you've done, uh, you know, so many, the, there's a picture from your exhibition we can right. see here. All those platters look absolutely stunning, actually. The, if I see them somewhere, I can't imagine that, you know, somebody's just sit down and with so much love True. and effort it has been made. And uh, the classes you're taking... Amazing. You know the other one we had showed earlier also. Oh, we inni achi inni therapeutic lagri hai. All your pieces are really. Tell me something about how women are taking in your group. Like you know they they've joined you. How my do you feel when youngest, you see? Yeah. My youngest student is a nine-year-old. My hmm. oldest student is a seventy-three-year-old. So and what sweet. is amazing is their testimonials, and they've been just working for one year with me. The testimonials that I've heard from them, how it has changed, has healed them, how they, it's so meditative that it's become a part of their life. How some of them have started teaching their grandchildren, so the full family are sitting together and doing it. So sweet. Uh, we have also have now, I've partnered up with women and people, whoever is interested, join me. Let's empower each other. It's not only about empowering a woman, it's empowering each one of us. Because we are all ache. Never forget that. It's yeah. ache. We've come down today to say, today is Women's Day. Every day is Women's Day. Let's empower. Let's uplift each other. Mm -hmm. So today we've started a business in this one year, started a business doing these platters. We, we welcome people, learn, you want to do it, come on, let's all join in. We, this is my third exhibition coming up next month. We've had mm -hmm. two exhibitions, sold out on each and every one of them. And I'm you don't need surprised. tools. Mm -hmm. We've even you... done our artwork with flowers and leaves to color things up. We've used wow. coffee powder. We've used tea. So you don't need tools to create things. So these Whatever pens are, what tools. kind of pens are you using here? These are all water-based. I use food coloring to color my boards. Mm. You oh. can paint with food coloring. It's beautiful. Right. I saw so, those bowls. So the thing is, We've got to stop putting these things. I can't do it. I can. Do you want to put in the effort? Yeah. And remember, the most important thing is mm -hmm. the act of doing, not only thinking. Right. That is the key thing. Do it. Do it. Thank you so much. Lovely talking to you, Sapna. This was really Thank amazing. You. And I, I'm sure my you know whole family must have enjoyed uh, talking to you, listening to you, and uh, they will pay attention to this, their own intuition Thank now, and you. find their ways. So one last, uh, you know, what would you like to tell my family? When you think of anything and you say you can't do it, just try it, do it. See okay. it for once. Thank Taste you. Taste it, enjoy it. Even if it doesn't, if according to people, it's, oh, I didn't succeed, 
I succeeded because I did it. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much with this note. We'll take everybody's leave and Sarano Satriyakar.